Hello everyone, my name is Paul, and today we're here to review a very quick review of this case by Eastman. And it's a cello case, and the number for it is CACL12, and it's made out of compressed foam. So we're here in the music room at my school. I'm a music teacher, elementary music teacher. And I wanted, I wanted first to show you the fabric that covers this compressed foam. And it's, it's very durable, and it's also sewn. Some people might be asking, why did you choose a hard case that's made out of foam? Uh, it's a new type of idea. It's between a very hard, rigid case and a bag. Uh, well, it's because it's light. And it does uh, afford a lot of protection. Not rigid protection, but protection from bumps and scrapes. So this case, um, we're going to walk around in a second, walk around it. But I wanted to show you this material. So it's very, very durable and it's sewn. In. There's no rivets or, or anything. Also, you'll notice that the case isn't, doesn't have any latches, but it has these, this zipper. And this zipper is very, very tough and durable. So yeah, and it's waterproof. So let's walk around the case. It has three handles, one here at the top, a three-quarter handle and a carrying side handle here and they're all pretty tough I mean that's very hard plastic um, this one is like a rubber plastic here very tough yeah I trust it and this one at the top is not really made to hold any weight but this is just to guide the, pia the uh, piano <laughs> the cello because it has down here wheels now the wheels are, yes, the wheels are kind of narrow and close together, but this is wheels so that you can go around. Also, we have feet on the back of the cello case. One here, and of course these down here act as feet. Here we have the side feet. Um, I, here's a very good look at the zippers. They're very tough, um, very thick. And the zipper is very thick and tough as well. This is, I think, it's a strengthening piece for the case. It helps to stiffen the case up a little bit. Around the front, down here, we have places for the bow area inside the bows, two bows. This area above the bridge, on top of the bridge, is very hard. And so is this neck area, very, very hard and stiff. So I think they've done some extra strengthening in those areas. So that's the case outside with this really tough material here. Very tough material. Okay, now let's go inside. So inside the case, we do have um, a neck rest for the cello. And we have this Velcro strap to strap it in. We don't have a strap on the top up here. We do have an accessory bag, and this, of course, comes out because it has Velcro on it. I'm going to put that to the side. Down at the bottom and around the case, we have this sort of thick, soft material, um, especially down at the bottom. As you can see, there's two big ones here, here and on that side. Yeah. And also, this part is raised, and down here is raised. All of this is raised from the center back, so that uh, there's air between your cello and the back of the case. Here's, here's something that's very interesting. I'm going to sit down here. Here's something that's very interesting. We have the, it's a different type of mechanism that keeps the bows. You see, this is indented here, concave here. So um, you, you put the bow here, the bottom here, 
Some people put the frog down here. Um, I don't. Sometimes I have, but I usually don't. And then we have this latch here. So we close it. We close it here like this, right? The bow's in here. You know, I will, you know, I should actually put the bow in there. And then guess what? We have a top latch that comes down to secure the bow. So it's latched in two different ways here and also here. And this is all Velcro. All right, so I'm gonna put a bow in here and let's see what it looks like, okay? So this is what a bow looks like inside the case. Down at the bottom, we have our pocket, right? And then we have, this is very, this is interesting. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We have a top latch here, and then we have a side latch here, and this is all Velcro, and this is how the bow comes out. So it's, it's secure in two different ways, not just one latch across, but one this way and one this way keeping that bow in its right area and not jumping around inside the case and scratching up your wood. So that's, that's quite nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's basic. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this tailpiece rest here inside the case. So, um, yeah, I really, I am appreciating this case more and more. I thought when I first got it that it would be too light but it is turning out to be very strong, very durable, and my cello is happy in here. <laughs> so yeah, I like it, and um, let me give you my final ideas about this case uh, right now. So before I leave you and give you those final ideas, I forgot to show you about this lock. It's an interesting system. You put the two zippers into these slots, and then you can lock it. It's, it's a combination. Isn't that strange? Combination lock here. Okay, final thoughts. Out of 10, I would give this case probably a 8. Why? Because it's everything I wanted. I did a little bit of research on it before I bought it. Uh, I can't return it. I live uh, abroad, so returning things is out of the question. So I did have to do some research on it. I did have to do that. But I like the case. It's stiff enough. It's light enough. It's strong enough. And it looks good. I do like things that are different, and this case is quite different. So I suggest, yeah, I suggest you get it. Uh, I think I paid uh, three, three hundred and fifty-eight dollars for it, something like that. So yeah, this is the case by Eastman, called C A C L twelve, and uh, if you get a chance to watch this video and to get one, I suggest you get one. All right, bye bye.